Hello, Axis Sanctuary and Chapels. It is October, and I figure it's time for a little bit of an update. Well, it's funny with uh, churches and nonprofit organizations. A church doesn't have to be uh, filing for a 501c, they're actually recognized automatically. And uh, so I went and I called the IRS, which is one of my biggest phobias because it's such an agency that nobody wants to mess with. So it took a lot out of me uh, yesterday to actually make the phone call and about an hour and a half of conversation later they couldn't shut me up. So basically they had a better approach when it came to uh, churches. Um, apparently if you start a regular nonprofit, a regular 501c, you have a, about a, say 10 rules that you have to follow. Uh, with the churches, maybe two. So, uh, with that said and done, uh, I was kind of surprised. But in the same regards, um, I was really, re you know, relieved because I thought we had a bunch of deadlines to do when we were, you know, coming coming down to our countdown. So, with that said and done, um, I went off and. Uh, I, mean, I talked to my treasurer, or left some messages, and I'll be having a meeting with her coming up uh, Friday. But pretty much the stress is kind of over on the deadline issue, but we still want to get this thing going and, and get it done. And uh, what we're trying to get going and get done, if we haven't figured out or don't know, is we're trying to go and do some fundraising so we can go off and uh, buy about 100 acres of land, and uh, anywhere between 20 and 200. And, uh, and and build our first access sanctuary chapels uh, here in Florida, and uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. So we're we're really excited over this, and um, we're near fruition. I mean, we just did the amendments to our articles, um, and we're finishing up our bylaws. And the fun part with all that is, once we do all that, um, we will be able to uh, move ahead. We just have to get an application for the Department of Agriculture to do a fundraising permit for the state. But otherwise, you know, um, you know, it's open game. We can start going and start, you know, raising funds for our buildings and for uh, for the land. You know, obviously, land first. Um, now, if you don't know, I, I have created other uh, sites. They're set up like social networks, but they're more for educational purposes. Uh, things with alternative energy and domes, which the Axis Sanctuary and Chapels will be endorsing. Uh, we want to be um, almost like a living museum in a way of alternative energy. And not necessarily going green, but almost showing sustainability or going off the grid. So, not only are we dealing with world religions, uh, we're actually talking about, you know, dealing with uh, earth-friendly uh, environments and actually living it. So not to get all preachy about that kind of fun stuff, but that's what's going on. So with all that said and done, uh, we've been very, you know, we've been progressing pretty well. Um, for the year active, you know, we have about 100 and, uh, 150 members and change, 155 members on the uh, on the Access Online site, and we also have um, you know, we get you know anywhere between 400 and 1,000 hits a month on our on our site as well. For those who are interested, and um, yeah, at the moment, what we're also shooting for is we have um, we have a main site that tells you know our mission statement, our beliefs, how we're doing things. So we've been uh, moving along, and uh, with the help I've been receiving with our treasurer, uh, we've exceeded you know leaps and bounds. And currently, uh, with the insight with the IRS we're even going you know we're going to be getting things done a lot quicker uh, because we don't have to follow a lot of the rules as a regular nonprofit does uh, in fact churches are kind of you know they're ran autonomously with the, with the blessings of the IRS so you know the only thing you can't do if you were qualifying for the 501c is do anything that's political and quite frankly I'm not I'm not a political person and um, and uh, you know, my stance on the whole thing is basically, you know, politics is up to the pe person, not you know, up to our people. You know, you figure out what you want to do and you do it. And um, but for science, education, 
uh, you know, religious education, um, going back old school, which is kind of funny if you think about it. A lot of the stuff that we talk about going green or even going, um, I like to say, off the grid, you know, has been done before. You know, a uh, good example was uh, a lot of people didn't know the diesel engine uh, on a dare could run on peanut oil. And, um, and then, of course, the petrol fuels came into play, and, you know, petrol fuel it was, uh, you know, really cheap back then. Now you look at it, and you're like, wow, you know, $3, $4 a, a gallon. You know, peanut oil don't look so bad. And a lot of other things out there. Uh, Mr. Washington, who uh, did a lot of things with peanuts, for instance, developed a plastic made by peanuts. You know, so I'm not getting into an educational kick here. Just that there's a lot of stuff that was done in the 18, 1900s that I find that we're all resurfacing or bringing back up. But now with today's technology, we can do so in a way where um, sustainability and, and non-reliance of utilities can can actually happen. Um, a good example, if you look at windmills, uh, windmills today versus windmills of yesteryear, you know, a farmer's windmill was nothing more than a little uh, water pump to bring in irrigation. And now, I mean, we have uh, windmills that are the size of football stadiums powering up cities. I think Denmark only uses uh, I don't know, it's like a 12 or 20 percent of fuel, petrol fuel imported, and that's just for the automobiles. They actually have 100 percent sustainability uh, based on their windmills and uh, alternative um, energy source. So th that's a good example to live by if you want to, you know, see something that you want to compare to. Um, so Access Sanctuary and Chapels is promoting a lot of that. In a moment, too, I'm going to be seeking out a co there's a college that actually teaches that as a degree, an engineering degree. So that's one of our future prospects. We're trying to seek out this particular college that teaches this type of stuff. And um, we have a lot of lesson plans, a lot of uh, future plans that are being uh, in, in, in uh, meetings, trying to get you know what we want to do, how we want to go there, and. You know, the prospecting looks good, but we still need to get the basics done, which is get the land and get the church up and running and um, even do some TV commercials. So, how far have we gone? Well, we went from an idea about five years ago to um, closing up our paperwork and then going to near fruition. Now, near fruition is subjective. You know, depending on how much land is going to cost, how much we can build, and and whatnot. You know, it could be anywhere from two days to two months to another year. We don't know. It all depends on what the availability is for funds, for grants, for foundations, or uh, through donors or benefactors. So at this point in the game, we're you know we're wrapping up our paperwork. Um, I will be doing full disclosure of who and what we are on our main website, which will be listed below or. It might even go. Uh, let's see here. It might even go through here once, and then I'll have it down and below in case you know this video goes elsewhere. And um, but yeah, we're going. We're uh, we're near fruition. I, I was surprised after I was talking to the IRS. They basically said, yeah, green light. You know, churches can do what they pretty much want. Just keep paperwork in case you get an audit. So, um, and not only that, but. You know, while I was there, I updated our information because we moved our address, so we're no longer at 4949 State Road 64, um, which is a, a basically it's an office rental, and uh, we moved over to 4509 um, 14th Street West, Unit 804 in Bradenton 34207. So that's our, our other uh, you know mail drop area. So um, I had to update that with the IRS, and then. Um, and of course, we had to. The first time they asked for our phone number, which is 941-567-0765. And um, yeah, like I said, we're uh, we're getting very close. I'm uh, very excited. I don't want to jinx it per se, but um, you know, we're getting there. And if you ever want to know what, what Access is all about, or more, have more, seek more information, please visit our website. And it's accessanctuaryandchapels.com. 
and uh, it'll give you a, a roundabout way of doing things. We also have what's called online fellowship, which is it's a, it's technically a social network, but we have over 70 groups uh, or 50 belief over 50 belief systems represented. Uh, currently, we're hitting all the minority belief systems, and we're now starting to bring up um, the different philosophers. And uh, so we're bringing these guys up and we're introducing different ideas and, and thoughts. Um, there's also links for um, the dome homes or dome structure um, as well as alternative energies and what have you. So again below will be listed but you can also find all those links on those sites too. And um, like I said uh, we're near fruition uh, closer than I thought after my conversation with the IRS so I'm kind of excited and I had to make this video because I was all worked up. So anyways, that's the scoop. I wish you well and uh, you know, come on by and pay us a visit. You don't have to sign in to be a member to look through the site. Everything is open. Um, maybe except for the membership uh, information like if you're looking at someone's profile, you know, unless you're a member you can but not, you know, not if you're not going to sign up. But all the information otherwise is available. It is, you know, the, the different types of religious minority religious groups are out there to, um, you know, events, links to other sites, to other organizations. And uh, like I said, there, there's lots of information available should you want to go and look it up. Anyways, my name is Ronald French, Reverend Ronald French of Access Sanctuary and Chapels. Take care and bye for now.